Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Hello. Today I am going to show you a couple of drawers that I managed to do. The aim is to try and get these two drawers done. Harmna's asleep right now. They are half done already. I did them last night when Amna went to sleep early. So I had about an hour and I put the time lapse on. So I'll share that with you. And yeah, check it out. Also had stuff on top of the microwave, um, which I had taken out previously from my makeup drawer, which was at the shelf at the back there. So I just took it out and I put it in the microwave and just left it there for a few days until I, was, I had time to sort out. Mess from the microwave. When I finally did get the time, I organised the thing. This is the first draw I did. So here in a container, in a small felt container, I put all my essential oils. And then in this little basket, I've got all my threads, my needles, needles in there. This is a thread threading device um, to undo seams stitches and then all my elastic bands so the one that's closed I'm put at the bottom the one that's open at the top more elastic band this is for sewing material so I'll put them there got a little mini hand sewing machine it's not great probably need to bend that but it's still there for now uh, some chalk at the back here I've got all my stationary items which I have put in a little basket just so it says standing and crayons and then here scissors and then that's this basket for the second basket the front here also sorry i've got um a lint remover to take bubbles of clothes so that's that and then we'll have a look at the second one the second one i've got stationery i had some like little pens like that to give for gifts so i just left them at the bottom with some paint there so i know it's at the bottom so i've just put this on top just to make the most of every space i've got here underneath i've got my beads i want to get into bead making and on top these are like little beads and bits of jewellery that's broken but I think it will be handy to use one day and buttons that needs to go on there that's okay it's in there more jewellery items that I'm not going to use but might be useful for some arts and crafts at some point for armour some more beads there and more when bead a bit bead crazy and then here at the back i've got more beads loads of beads so the ones that didn't fit in there i just put them in bags at the back and then here i've got all my thread and my cutter to make bracelets and then that's that so in the drawer i like to put it like that and then that's done and then also i've got this which is for to make bracelets so i'll put it together and then that's done it's the top the first row i show um i showed is of all of my craft stuff um so meaning like any sewing 
uh, material so I really want to get into sewing bits and bobs so uh, I've got my scissors and things like that so I've put them towards the front which is probably something that I'm going to be needing in the near future I had some retainers and things um, which it works for me just putting them at the back and I had some stationary items um, which didn't fit in the drawer below so I put it in the drawer above uh, and that was at the back like the bigger bulky like the staple stapler and things like that um, so keep things that you use at the front and things that you don't use at the back put things in the drawer where you're able to grab things and put things back just like I did my makeup video I haven't got a lot of space um, to work with so at the moment this works and alhamdulillah be grateful for everything you do have and make the most of what you got you know so if you need a little if you've got a small space do it so you it's organized and then you're still able to make the best of what you've got um second draw that i did um that was of stationary items and then i had things like craft items like beads and things that i want to get into bracelet making in the future um, inshallah when I have more time so I'll put that at the back because I know I'm not going to use it anytime soon uh, another tip that I can give you if you've got a larger item that takes more space like for example I had a sewing machine in the in the actual drawer so I took that out because I knew it was a bigger item so I can put that somewhere else and it's not going to easily get lost and then use a smaller drawer space I mean, if you've got more space in the drawer, of course, put your larger items in. But if you're limited space, just like me, take out the larger items and use the drawer space to organise and stand things up and um, put things, smaller items. That way you can open a drawer, grab the item. Whereas something like a big sewing machine, when am I going to use that? So I'm going to put that somewhere else. I've got more things to show you, like I've got a big cupboard um, space and a store cupboard at the back which needs organizing so if you like my content please kindly subscribe uh, and like my video and inshallah I can share that my journey with you remember even if you start today you can do it just start off small small draw maybe the smaller draw the smallest draw you got start with that a small corner of the room start with that and start grouping things together inshallah and if you have already got there and you want to share your tips and tricks please please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment box below jazakallah for watching take care god bless Allah Hafiz. bye bye thank you